to slurp or not to slurp? That is truly the question for all situations in life. So today I'm gonna show you how to make something I think is slurp worthy, soup dumplings. It's comprised of three different parts, the soup, the filling, and the dough. To make the soup or broth, you will need either pork or chicken. For this case, I use some pork belly, pork feet, and pork skin. All those different parts will provide lots of collagen to help make a gelatinous broth. Toss them into a large pot, followed by some scallions and ginger. Then fill it up with cold water to cover and bring it to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, skim off the top, reduce the heat, cover it, and allow it to simmer for at least two hours. Then strain the liquid, season it with salt to taste, and pour it into a shallow dish. Then place it in the fridge and allow it to chill for at least three hours or until it becomes really jelly, like soup jelly. I know it sounds weird, but just stick with me here. Once it's jellified, go ahead, take a knife, and create little cubes by going up and down, across, and cross hatch it so you make little tiny bits. You can set that aside in the fridge while you work on the filling. Combine ground pork, minced shrimp, finely chopped scallion, grated garlic, grated ginger, soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, which is a Chinese rice wine, but if you can't find it, you could totally leave it up, and sugar. Mix it really well until it looks kind of like a paste. Then you can add in that jellied soup. Keep the mixture in the fridge so that you could work on the dough. To some all-purpose flour, add hot water in two parts while mixing. The warm water is what's gonna develop that gluten so you have a nice chewy wrapper. And then add some cold water and vegetable oil. Once it becomes hard to stir, transfer it to a floured surface and knead the dough for about six to eight minutes. Once you have a nice smooth ball, wrap it up and let it rest for one hour. Then divide it in half, roll it out into a log, and divide them into one inch equal pieces. Now I'm ready to assemble. I'm working with just a few pieces at a time and the rest is kept under this damp cloth and I've got my filling over here. Slightly flatten each piece into a little round. Now you could use a regular rolling pin or a small dowel. We actually just found an old spoon and sawed off the scooping part. What's that part of the spoon even called? Now the goal is to keep the center of the wrapper thicker than the edges. You want the edges real thin, so just turn the wrapper as you roll out the edges because you don't want the twist at the top to be too thick. And this is kind of what you're looking for. You want it to be about four inches wide, so just lay it across the top of your hand. Scoop about a tablespoon of filling in the center, and now you're ready to pleat. Now they say you should do about 18, well, exactly 18 because it's a lucky number. And the technique here is to tug and pleat. Give it a nice gentle tug. Pleat, tug, pleat, tug, pleat. If this technique is too difficult, you can also put it down on the board and just turn it all around. Twist the top, and there you have it. Cute little dumpling. And now we're on to the final step, which is to cook them. So I've got a bamboo steamer here, which is a little bit of water in this pan, and I've lined it with a perforated parchment. Once it steams, just place them inside and let them cook for about eight minutes. And there you have it, piping hot and juicy soup dumplings. You don't believe me? Let me show you. Pick one up and place it on your spoon. I'm gonna pierce a little hole, and there's all the juice. So first you slurp. Oh, this is so comforting. Down here I have a little dipping sauce of ginger, soy sauce, and vinegar. I'll just get some on my spoon. And then take it all in, in one bite. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life. Mm. <laughs>